Hey YouTube, it's your boy J Miles. Today we're back on our video. Today I'm gonna be doing some homemade onion rings, so check it out. Yes, I grew up eating onion rings, so check it out. Got the two white onions onions in there on the chopping board. Here are the seasonings. And also the flour, but I forgot about the gram I mean the breadcrumbs, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get them out as soon as I can, you know? And I'm gonna keep you updated once I get ready to, you know, slice the onions. Hey, I'm back. So once you got your onions peeled out, all you do now is just as he cut the ends off like that. Once you did that, trust me, it's gonna be the hardest process of making onion rings. Just cut them up the best you can. Yeah, like so. But I'm just taking it easy. And there you go. And I'm going to cut the last part once I can. Okay, once you got your onion sliced up, pretty good. And now I'm going to now just... We we know take it take it easy though you know just take them off yeah like that ooh that's why I said making onion rings is it's a little hard harder process but I'm a live though you know yeah since I am not that much good of making the onion rings though you know but I'm gonna get used to it once I do it right hey I'm back so once you got your onion rings all you pulled out but I kind of forced them a little but that's why they break a little but yeah doesn't matter though says so, you know just onion rings says so, you know I just oh yeah do, do some out so so I can make them look like real onion rings well almost yeah, it is what it is, and I'm gonna keep you updated once I get the batter and stuff mixed in, and also the breadcrumbs. Hey, I'm back. So to get started on making your batter, to oh yeah, to season it, all you do now just add some sloppy on my uh, mama. Yeah, like so, can I add sloppy mama? Some pepper, black pepper. And of course, a little salt, just to give it some more flavor. Accent. Garlic powder. The key of making your flavor taste awesome. And last but not least, is a little chili powder. Not too much. Okay, once you got your seasons on, all you have to do now is just mix it in. Okay, pretty well. Until everything's combined though, you know? Hey, I'm back. So, once you got your seasons stirred in with the self rising flour, but I use self rising flour. Now we sold up. Cooking will be easier. All you have to do now is just add some water, but not too much. Yeah, better yet, I'm gonna pour the rest. I get to see how it goes, though, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm still gonna add a little more water since I'm not gonna, gonna add too much rice. It's gonna be soupy, though, you know? Check it out. Turning it into a batter once I, mean, once I stir it in. So, yeah. But I'm gonna keep stirring this in and add some more water once I can. And back, so once you add added some water but not too much, check it out. All nice and looking like a batter, you know? And all I'm gonna do, do now just put this aside since I gotta get the bread, bread comes out. So yeah, but I ain't gonna show it though. Well, properly. 
Hey, I'm back. So, once you got a bowl or something out, all you do now just pour some breadcrumbs in there, but not too much. Yep, that's all the breadcrumbs. And that's all. Since I gotta get the, since you know, since, since you know, I gotta get the fryer set up and stuff. So, yeah, you know, I'm gonna get the fryer out and the oil out. Hey, I'm back. So, once you got your fire and oil out already now, just preheat your fire to 350 while I pour the, you pour the come on, oil. That's the oil, oil I use though. Okay, once you got your oil you know, poured in, and I want to do now, just let this heat up while I get the unrings heat up in the breadcrumbs. Hey, I'm back. So once you got your onions out, I'm going to do now, just dip them into this batter right here. Yeah, I'm going to get a couple, couple in, into this batter though. Since you know, my hands is going to be sticking it into this batter though. But hey. That's part of cooking the onion rings. Since we know it's my first time cooking them. Yeah. And I'm going to get to the bread crumbs once I can. Right to get my hands rinsed off. Hey, I'm back. So once you get, get to the bread crumbs, all you do now is just drain some of this batter off. This excess batter off. And put it right here. Yeah, like that. There we go. And, and do the same thing. Since I'm going to film the whole thing. Yep, it's, it's a tutorial though. And I'm, I'm going to get to my tray once I do the last two, two of these onion rings. Hey, I'm back. So once you got your onion rings battered and, and, and breaded, yeah, it look, looking good to go. You know, and all I'm gonna do now just, we you know, bread the rest of these onion rings since I'm gonna film, film, uh, film the whole thing. And I'm off. Bread all of them since I'm gonna do it though. Hey, I'm back. So once you got your onion rings all uh, battered and breaded, check it out. And now we can do do now just finally go goes to the fire working for those bad boys, aka the onion rings. Hey, I'm back. So once you get to the fire, all you do now just get a couple of onion rings. Yeah, then put them put them on. Like that. Make sure you don't try to put too much in there or else. It's gonna be sticking each other, you know. Once you put them on, you can hear that hear that sizzle. And I want to do now to let the fire for a couple of minutes. Okay, once your onions are cooking a little, all you do now just flip them over. That way, so we can see the see the bottom. Yeah, just flip them over. Like that. And there you go. That's how you do it. And I'm, I'm looking to go for under a few minutes, which is the last thing you have to do before we take them out. Okay, once they're fr frying for a few minutes, all I'm going to do now just take them out since you know they're finally done. Check it out. Just take the rest of this out. I ain't going to be scared though. I got this. And I'm gonna get I'm gonna get to the pan since I gotta check on those onion rings. Okay, once you got your onion rings out, check it out all nice and golden brown. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> like curly curly I mean curly fries and stuff, right? French fries. Yeah. I'm gonna do, do now just cut the rest of them and 
I'm gonna get them once I cook the rest of these onion rings. Hey, I'm back. So once you cook all the onion rings and check it out, that's how you do it. Homemade onion rings from scratch. Check it out. Mm -mm -mm. Looking like the real deal onion rings. Ha, ah, like Sonic onion rings. Since you know Sonic is my, is my favorite though, you know. Yeah, and all I'm gonna do now just give me a, just give me a bowl or a plate out. Just depends. Of onion rings. Okay, once you got your bowl of onion rings out, and all I'm gonna do now just plain check them out. And yeah, looking good. Nice and crispy. And let's get those onion rings a taste test in three, two, one. Okay. Man, those onion rings are so good. Man, I definitely put my foot on those onion rings. And I'm going to finish the rest of these onion rings since you know I'm going to tear them up. Hey, I'm back. So the onion rings that I had is super amazing and freaking good. So check it out. A whole bowl of onion rings in my me. And check out the rest of those rest of those onion rings. Yep. Looking good. Homemade onion rings. And that's all for those videos on onion rings and stuff. So yeah. Way too, if you're new to the channel, please give a like, share, and subscribe. And also Hit the no notification bell if you get a chance. And it's been your boy G Miles. Peace out. Like I said, though, those onion rings taste exactly like the sunny ones. They mean to brag, but peace out.